Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am back with more forgotten polishes. I've actually lost count of what number we're on now. I want to say it's like 13 or 14. Um, this video is going to be the first one in a while where we have a mixture of brands and we also have one indie in here as well. So this is just a video, if you haven't seen them before, I will link the playlist down below where I go through older polishes, polishes I've forgotten, polishes that don't get enough love um, and we just go through, swatch them and talk about them because sometimes it's good to talk about the old as well as the new. Let's go with these five. We have two OPI to start with, and these are actually two really old OPIs in my collection that I didn't have any swatches for on my computer. So this first one is Did It, did it On Em, and this came out from the Nicki Minaj collection when she did a collaboration with them. I think it was a five or six piece, and it did include a shatter, so that's showing you how long ago it was that they came out. And I picked this up on sale with a few of the others from that collection. I think I almost have all of them. I'm pretty sure I almost have all of them. Um, it's a really great collection. This, however, is very similar to, to Don't Talk Back To Me, which um, came out in the German collection. I want to say that came out first, and this might have come out second, where it's kind of like an ugly, pretty yellow. This is slightly more like zesty and limey, but they are very similar, and you don't need both. Um, this does have a standard yellow formula, where it is three coats. Um, there's something different. Um, I don't see a ton of this type of polish out there, even today. Um, so that first one there was three coats of Did It On Em uh, OPI. The other one is um, Dutch I Just Love OPI, um, and I love this polish, I think it's so beautiful, where it is this kind of like magenta-y um, mauve purple, and then there is a strong golden shimmer, and that golden shimmer translates to the nails, which is a win, because there's been a few polishes recently I've swatched from newer collections where the shimmer is non-existent on the nail. So, so happy to see something that's in the bottle and on the nail, and a two-coater. Um, that should just love. Must be the Holland collection, is what I'm going to guess. But even though I am living in Europe, my European geography is not that great, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But that was Dutch should just love OPI. OPI, two coats. Then we move on to China Glaze, and this was in the first order that I ever did from, Ch from, from China Glaze. I think I ordered six, and this is one of those six. And it's called Up All Night. I'm not sure what original collection it came in. It was part of the core line for a really long time. Might still even be. Um, where it's a very, very, very dark blue, verging on black on your nails. It's gonna, it does look very blue, but it's very on that fine line. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like almost black, but not black nails, this might not be for you. I feel like you can still get this quite readily compared to some of the others. I feel like I see it every now and again. Um, a beautiful almost one coater, which again might be because of the age of it. So I would say two if you get a brand new bottle. So that was China Glaze Up All Night, two coats. We then have one Zoya, and this is called Edita. And again, this is, one of the, this is the first Zoya that I ever purchased. I got this again with like three or four others and in a D stash and it's very strange and the reason I'm not sure how I ever feel about this but I don't de-stash it because I think it's so unique and original um so like I say it's, I think I think it's a bluish base whenever you remove it the black base is very blue when you paint it in your nails it doesn't look blue at all it's a very like chameleon looking polish and then there is a ton of like golden bronzy shimmer so it almost makes it look like a dirty olive green but like I say I think it's that mixture of the yellow and the blue mixing together that make it look green um, another two coater um, that one is a Dita Zoya and we're throwing in one indie and this is actually quite aptly filmed because I just watched some of the release because Dollish Polish is turning 10 years old this year and this was from my first ever Dollish Polish order from the Ultimate Fan Girl or Fandom Collection um, and this is One Lifetime With You which is a Lord of the Rings themed polish. Um, this is beautiful. It's almost dropped it, a um, light purple lilac base and then you have tons and tons of little fine micro glitters in here. They don't stick to the nails, um, the micro glitters, but they're in like, um, they're in like a, a fine bl like blurply blue, they're in like a darker purple, they're in a hollow and then there is a holographic, holographic, a bl a purple flash to it. Um, it does get opaque in three coats, it is on the sheerer side of things, so it definitely needs those three coats. What I love about Dollish is that she does, um, when polishes get older, she retires them and she puts them on an Etsy website, um, so you might still be able to get this, so I will link the regular Dollish polish and the Etsy clearance bin down below, because I definitely have seen this in the clearance bin not that long ago either. Um, so that last one there was Dollish polish, one lifetime with you, three coats. So that was another round of polishes I forgot I own. I still have, 
Oh, right up, you might not be able to see it up the top there. Um, some mainstream ones that I've pulled out to do. And if you guys are happy, I will continue to slip in some older indies in there because I definitely have some older KB shimmers I could do with swatching again. So give me a thumbs up, like, tell me about your forgotten polishes in the comments, and I will see you soon.